from the ultimate athlete and the caveat to this is ultimate athlete did two events and I ran into them at the Arnold's right after the ultimate athlete two. And they had a guy on the card that had a whole bunch of like followers with the bikers and something happened where his, his like biker buddies were stabbing people to death yeah. in the audience. That was crazy. That uh, that one should make it to a movie. I guess it was the in it was the Mongols. Uh, the Mongols. Were you on that card? It was on the, the the whole incident happened right before my fight. I was wait, like, wait. So you were on that card? I did. I couldn't find who else was on the card. that got canceled. I was on that card. I was gonna fight. Uh, hey, Miguel, who's the who's the kid that Chris Brennan? knocked out with the the head kick and king of the cage uh, uh joe joe riggs no uh, uh I'll, I'll look it up here so we're not fumbling around but keep going yeah. with your story keep going dude i can't believe you were in a locker room at this time dude i've been like literally looking for people that were on the card i knew you were on the first one dude uh-huh. this is like to me this is like gold all right just go ahead steve i apologize yeah, they, they no problem they uh they brought me out to fight they had us like set up in trailers and stuff and the fight before me was this guy who i guess was with the mongols or whatever i, I don't even know who he was but you know i can remember being in the trailer warming up and like all right you're on deck and then i just hear all this commotion and you know one of the uh, guys who handles the fighters and takes them to the stage was coming back I'm like just hang on there's some stuff going on hold on and he came back like two times telling me to hang on and be ready and the next thing I know I'm just hearing police sirens and I start hearing like I, I it, they weren't real gunshots but but you could hear kind of like the it were salt uh salt bullets or whatever you could hear the gunshot going and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? You know, is this a pyrotechnics? I'm, I'm in this trailer and I'm, I'm like, this is crazy. You know, what's going on? And then I look out and I see all this commotion and stuff. And I, I started walking into uh, the area and I just saw all kinds of crap. And I was like, holy crap, I'm just going back to the trailer. So I went back there and, you know, like an hour later or something, when they got it all calmed down, they're just like, hey, show's canceled. And uh, I was like, you get yeah, yeah, actually, I did. Uh, they and and I made an argument about it because I it was one I was really well trained for too. And I was like, no, you're not giving me my fucking show money. You're gonna give me my win money because I was coming here to win. And I said, you know, I I I, I need this because at that time I I really did for uh, I, I bills and rent and all that stuff. And I was like, I needed to win this. You're gonna give me this stuff. And and and. They were like, they started to say, okay, well, we're going to pay you, but what we may, we may end up doing is we're going to call you back in a week and we're going to film uh, this fight just in a warehouse, uh, these fights that didn't happen. And I said, I'm great with that. Give me whatever I need to sign. I'll do it. And I called them all week, and for whatever reason, it didn't, it didn't I, go through. But uh, right, so Steve, Steve, I can tell you why. So, and I, I know this because I'm a friggin' like, I mean, dude, I'm like psychotic with information, uh-huh. obviously. I mean, it's That's awesome. so I run into him at the Arnold's and he, these guys, they had a lot going on. Like they had like, it was like Suncoast video and all these other like big video chains would carry like their, the ultimate athlete, like, like video magazine, like on DVD. And they had very good distribution. Like, right. If you want to talk about like the stars aligning themselves, they absolutely had just, they had everything in order. But what they didn't count on was the Mongols ki- like almost killing somebody at their event. Right. So, so I run into them at, uh, at the Arnold's and I'm like, oh, you know, we're talking and I'm hustling t-shirts and we're kind of going back and forth. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, you know, uh, I'd like to correspond with you. And they're like, okay, well, you can reach us through this P.O. box. And I'm like, I remember, like, everybody was suing them. So I'm like, oh, you know, they're just kind of, like, feeding everything to the P.O. box. Well, the Arnold's is, like, three days. So by the third day, I kind of figure out they're living in a mobile, like a, like a RV. Mm-hmm. And the reason they're living in an RV is to, like, not get served with legal paperwork. Like, 
during the Arnolds, they were adamantly looking to make sure like that, that there wasn't lawyers coming up. Like they were legitimately freaking out in regards to like getting tagged with legal work. And the guy that got stabbed actually lived. And he said that they agreed to like a settlement of like twenty twenty five thousand dollars And it was like on, on an Indian reservation. So no lawyers would take it. And he agreed to like twenty five thirty thousand dollars $30,000 of which they agreed to it, signed papers and never paid them. Uh. Jeez. So they wow. were pretty much done. Miguel, did you ever come up with that name? I'm looking. I'm looking at it. Was it before your fight with uh, uh, Brandon? Yeah. yeah, I want to say it was uh, probably four or five years uh, uh, before the fight with Brandon. Right. Oh, Joe uh, Hurley is that a fight? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Joe Hurley's the guy. He beat, beat him in King of the Cage uh, five with elbows. It wasn't. It wasn't a head kick, but. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, Joe, oh, yeah. did at that night did they talk about what took place, or was it just like it's canceled? Was we might see in a week or two. Well, like you know, I I knew something was going on because, like I said, you know, you could see people running by or the police with the uh, the, the salt guns, and you know, I mean, uh, uh, screams and all kinds of stuff. And in, in the meantime, I'm like sitting in this trailer thinking, Jesus, what what's happening, and you know, what what's going to happen if people start coming in here you know and uh i you know when i did walk out and i looked and i saw the mayhem and all that crap you know i right away you could figure it out you know because you could see there was a ton of those mongols there so you could see what was going on so i was just like shit i'm gonna get back in the trailer you know and uh you know that's that's what i did hey, <laughs> do you know who the main event was it was 